You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. The publisher Eisenbrauns celebrated April Fool's Day by announcing a new commentary series, the first volume of which was to be a commentary on Obadiah chapter 1, verse 1. Well, the whole book of Obadiah is only one chapter, so this was a great joke. But, since Eisenbrauns have given us the excuse, let's here start to look just at Jonah chapter 1, verse 1. Not a whole commentary, but a five-minute talk. In fact, let's look at the first three words of the book of Jonah. Those first three words, Vaihi Devar Adonai, or Devar Hashem, however you want to say God's name, translate roughly like this. And it happened, word of God's name. Just three words. We'll look at the rest of the verse later. Now, the very first word, Vaihi, and it happened, immediately makes us think this is a story. Vaihi is how stories begin. Most of the historical books of the Hebrew Bible begin with and it happened as their first word. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, Nehemiah, Esther and countless chapters of narrative begin with this word Vaihi. So the very first word makes us wonder is Jonah a story rather than a prophetic book? And then we look at the next two words Vehi Divah Hashem. It wasn't just and it happened, but it was the word of God's name that happened to Jonah. Now that phrase Vehi Divah Hashem or Divah Adonai, that phrase only begins one other Bible book, and that's Ezekiel. But it's very common in the prophetic books as a beginning to a chapter or a section. The prophetic books often start something Vaihi Deva Hashem. So is Jonah, after all, a prophetic book? Jonah was a narrative. We'd have expected it to begin something like, And there was a man called Jonah, son of Amittai. But it doesn't. It begins, Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. More like a prophetic book than a narrative. And then there's that introduction. Who did the word of the Lord come to? It came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Who is this Jonah? Who's Amittai? Have we heard of them before? The way stories and narrative work is the author slowly builds on common knowledge, knowledge common to himself and to you, the hearer, and gradually adds new information, enlarging our shared world. The book of Jonah begins in a way which suggests that the author assumes that we know who Jonah, son of Amittai, is. See how it begins? The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. In order to understand that sentence, you have to understand, to know, who Jonah, son of Amittai, is. And we do, if we've read the Bible. If we've read the Bible, we've met Jonah, son of Amittai, in the book of Kings. 2 Kings 14 is telling the story of Jeroboam the second who was either a dreadful king or a great king, depending on your point of view. Verse 24 says, He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam son of Nebat, that was an earlier Jeroboam, which he caused Israel to sin. But then, verse 25 says, He restored the border of Israel from Lebohamath as far as the Sea of Arabah, that's basically the boundaries of the Davidic Empire, as far as the northern kingdom is concerned, according to the word of the Lord, God of Israel, which he spoke by his servant Jonah son of Amittai, the prophet who was from Gath-Hefer. So, we do know who Jonah is. We read about him in Kings. He's that prophet who predicted truly that God would restore the borders of Israel. So, we know who Jonah is, and it's quite appropriate for the narrator to say to us, the word of the Lord came to Jonah son of Amittai because we know who he is. He is a true prophet from the past, and we've read about him in the book of Kings. But we've still got a problem. Is this book that begins Vaihi, the narrative, or is this book that begins Vaihi Dva Hashem, a prophetic story? Well, I think we've solved it. It's a prophetic story. It begins Vaihi Dva Hashem El Yona. Bin Amittai, Lemor. Now, the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, who we know 
and we know he's a true prophet because we've read about him in Kings. So we know what's going to happen, don't we? The word of the Lord has come to a prophet that we know to be a true prophet, and what Jonah is going to do is to proclaim it. It's easy. Or so it seems, if naively we read the first verse, without having read the rest of the book. What happens in the rest of the book? Well, that's another story. No, it's not. It's the same story. And I'm going to continue it in the next podcast in this series. But it's not part of this podcast. I said five minutes, and I've talked nearly six, so I'm going to stop here, at the end of the first verse of the book of Jonah. God bless. Bye. But do come back, won't you?